Hello and uh, welcome to the University of Cumbria uh, instruction video on recording off-the-job hours in Aptem. This video is aimed at uh, apprentices and there will be a separate one produced for academic staff to look at how they can do it. During this video what I'm going to be covering is the reasons that we record off-the-job hours for an apprenticeship and how apprenticeship uh, documents and hours are recorded. So the reasons why we record hours is that uh, for every apprenticeship that we deliver there is an education and skills funding agency rule that requires all apprentices to spend a minimum of 20% of their paid working time involved in off-the-job learning related to the apprenticeship standard. Uh, in the case of many health programmes such as uh, nursing and paramedic there will be significantly more hours required than this to meet the regulatory requirements of the professional bodies. And the system that we use to do this with is called Aptem. What uh, I'll show you now is the Aptem interface. So when you log in as a learner, uh, what you should first see is a program, a, a page that looks like this. So on the right hand side, you've got your learning plan progress, showing off the job hours, progress with the academic award, and progress with the uh, apprenticeship standard. In this case, I'm looking at a paramedic one, but all programs should look fairly, fairly similar to this. You'll also see uh, a list of activities that are due. Now on here, you can see there's only December, February and March shown. But the reason for this is that we have a number of filters set, and one of them is the date range. So just by selecting a wider range of dates, you can see that a lot more activities will appear. Some of them have no deadlines, but some of them do. So what I'm going to be looking at the minute, looking at, at the minute, is recording of off-the-job hours. So I've extended the February um, field that shows that in February I'm due to record a monthly log of off-the-job hours, and there's the task to start here. And if I click on the task on the right-hand side, you can then get the opportunity to upload a file. Now, different programmes will use different types of logs to record it. So some may appear as a Microsoft Word document, and some of them may appear as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So, for example, this one is a draft for the paramedic degree apprenticeship one. Um, in this case, what you can do is select the month that you're reporting at the top, and it will automatically adjust the dates. But for this one, I'm actually reporting on January 21. I've already recorded some hours in here and you can see that for the month I'm recording a total of 66.5 hours. So if we return to Aptem, and now we have the option of uploading a file. Uh, when you click on the upload file you'll have this screen. Uh, I record the evidence type as other. The completion date is completed automatically by the system. And if I just tab back to check that I'm reporting on the correct number of hours, I'm reporting 66.5 hours here. So 66 colon 30 minutes. So in here it's minutes rather than point. And then you have to confirm that uh, the hours are eligible. And there's one of three ways in which the hours can be eligible. So the first is that it is completed in your own time and that you're being paid by your employer. The second is that it's completed in your own time, but you're being given time off in lieu. And the third is that it's completed during paid working hours. So in this case, I'm, I'm claiming that it's completed in paid working hours. And then what I'll do is select the appropriate file. And as you can see, I've got the paramedic off a job record template for January 21 for myself. So I open that file, it appears there, and then I can save it. Once I've saved a file as evidence of the off-the-job hours, you can see that the status here has changed to evidence submitted, and the same is reflected on the right-hand side. Now, until one of the academic staff has been into Aptem and checked this and approved it, it will still say as evidence submitted rather than completed, as, the, as this one is here. In the actual <coughs> progress uh, field of Aptem, on the right-hand side, you can see that off-the-job hours are recorded here and by putting my mouse across the bar you can see that currently I've completed 11% of the expected off-the-job hours for this stage of the course and the target should be 12%. Now once the academic clicks uh, uh, goes into here and approves the evidence that's submitted 
that will automatically go up and show the number of hours that you've completed. And the idea of submitting this on a monthly basis is that it gives you a track of progress against what you're expected to achieve and where you are against it. If you have any issues or problems uh, doing this within Aptem, please contact us at aptem.cumbria.ac.uk and one of the apprenticeship team will uh, get back to you and help you either through a Teams meeting or emails. Thank you very much.